Hi guys, I'm Kiba and welcome back to DIY with KB. Today we're going shopping. I love to shop, you guys know this, but I also love to save money. So we're going to Home Goods. I found this amazing new Home Goods here in Pittsburgh where I live due to one of my subscribers. Thank you so much, Khalil. And I wanted to go shopping there. And when I went there, it was literally the most amazing store I'd ever been to. I was literally skipping down the aisles. I found so many great Restoration Harbor dupes and I'm excited to share them with you. But first, I wanna take you shopping with me. Before I get into today's video, please remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and check me out on Instagram at kiva.brent. Let's go. Before checking out the new home goods, I went to the OG home goods and the first thing I saw was this beautiful art canvas. Now I wasn't really liking it because of the art. The art is definitely okay, but this is a great affordable canvas that you wouldn't be able to get for such a good price at a store like Michael's. So you can buy it from home goods and paint over it. I also was in love with these chairs. They're only a hundred bucks and they're like a taupe type of slip covered chair. They're actually like the same price as the Ikea ones, but this color is definitely better and it, it really held up well. This is obviously the crystal section. I know you guys have been telling me that you don't have great crystals at your stores and we're gonna have to do something about that. We're gonna have to DIY something. But for now, I really like this section here. They didn't have too many new things, but they had a lot of gold accents and trays and boxes, all things that we love, right? I wanted to point out another canvas to you guys. This huge one over here is on clearance for $119. It's huge. It's definitely not any of our vibes if you're following me, but really good option if you can't afford a huge canvas or something like that. And I also just love that brown mirror. This is a RH dupe. They have this at um, Home Goods right now for $2.99 and that's the same price or something close to the one at Value City, which is also an RH dupe. Okay guys, I'm totally gonna expose myself, but you guys love the RH dupes. Something I do, I literally leave RH catalogs in the back of my car. Like that's in the back of my car, so I know a dupe when I see one. Like this lamp right here, that is an RH dupe. It's on clearance right now. You just gotta know what to look for. Spend some time on the website or whatever store you wanna emulate for cheaper. I literally almost fell out when I saw these lights, not because like they're so beautiful or anything, but because they look just like something I've seen in other stores and they're really affordable. Plus they have that USB port. That's important if you want your room to look nice and glamorous, you need to hide the cords. So you need to hide a way to do that and this is a great solution for that. These were a new addition to Home Goods this week. These pots are normally cement or these urns are normally cement, but this week they were black and they actually weren't made of plastic, but they were still fairly affordable and they weren't that heavy. These were super cute. You could put these in front of your house or in your garden or even on some shelves. I also just love these chairs. These would not go in my house at all, but they're cute. If you're like modern bohemian, that's a thing and it's a cute look, so think about it. I just love that this was two-toned and you could just sit it on a stand on top of a shelf or something like that. I obviously didn't end up buying it because I have nowhere to put it. I'm really trying to stop buying too many things. I also like these lanterns because it's so rare that you find lanterns that like work with a modern vibe, but they were like antique sort of something. So they could work and like the shape was a little more modern, but honestly, I don't know about lanterns being a modern vibe, but I was impressed by these at Home Goods. Plus they were pretty affordable. This was an actually really good coffee table book that was black and white. I'm all about the black and white coffee table books. I buy colorful ones and I just end up shoving them somewhere because it just doesn't go. Now people, it's time to pay attention because I'm at the best home goods ever and it's a TJ Maxx home goods hybrid and those normally aren't good where I've been. So I was impressed. This bust, oh my God. These are hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars, but this one, $30, you know I scooped it up and I love the color. They also had a smaller version. These ones are also expensive. I don't know, like you just gotta go to the garden section. I was so impressed. I'm like literally screaming because I'm still so hype about it. They also had these um, nice pieces. They're on stands. I normally don't buy things on stands because I like have nowhere to stand them up. Um, but they're actually on sale and they were on a sale at a few different home goods and they were $8. So if you like them, scoop them now. 
This literally has nothing to do with home decor, but this is actually a really good price for all of these um, foam brushes. And if you're into DIY, which I assume you are, because you're here, this is a really great deal. So just look out for this next time you're at Home Goods. I also really enjoyed some of these pulls, but what I will say is that I tend to get mine from Amazon and I end up being way happier with them because the ones I don't use I can just return. You can't really do that in a set. Um, so yeah, and this, really good find. Um, I would use this as kind of like a console or whatever or an entry table if you're a little bit taller. It was a little bit short for me, but I found another table and you could nest them and have this cute little look here. Um, I honestly think you could use this as a coffee table and the big one was $30 and the smaller one was $20, so I feel like that's pretty affordable. The rugs here, I'll be honest, they weren't really getting me going at this home goods, obviously my other home goods. I'm like waiting for this rug I want to go on sale. Last week it was $700, this week it's $400. I'm waiting for that $100 price ticket. This one was also cute, this girl next to me really wanted her mom to buy this for her, so I'm hoping that her mom buys it. It was really cute. You catch that little dance I did there. Babe made me edit most of it out, but I was happy. I love this piece. Shiny is not my vibe, but I thought this was so cute if you're gonna get something on a stand. I think it's a nice color, neutral, but cute. Y'all, I know that geodes and crystals are expensive, so if you can't get the big ones, get little ones like this and use them as bookends to really dress up your space. The amethyst also was looking pretty good. They were pretty big. Um, I think the price was actually reasonable today. They're all around like 20 bucks. Now, I thought this was like a concrete coated sort of thing, but I took it down. It's a whole concrete stool for 80 bucks. I thought that that was pretty good. I also really like this swatch box. It's nice and leather and brown. Obviously, you could put something else in it. Um, but I thought that it was pretty cute. These planes in the background also, they have those at RH a lot. I mean, if you're into planes, like, buy one. But obviously, that would just look out of place in my house. And this orb, oh my god, it was so big. And normally, these orbs are, like, the size of, like, my hand for, like, $50 for no reason. I thought that was really good. I know I had you guys really excited about that mirror from home goods last week but a lot of you weren't able to find it this one obviously not exactly the same but you could put some gold paint on this and really dress this up and this one's even cheaper 125 dollars and it's pretty tall as well this clock i'm not a huge fan of like big clocks to put on the wall i feel like you should get a grandfather clock from like goodwill if you really want a clock but this one these two were actually pretty cute because they were like um brassy and a little bit more antique -y looking so i was here for it I also like this mirror. I just gotta throw in mirrors that I like with you um, because I can't buy any more mirrors because I have like 10 mirrors shoved under my bed. So I have to just like show them to you guys. To me, these lamps were a little gaudy, but I feel like in the right place, they could actually look pretty cute. And guys, oh my God, these Tahari lamps, I know. Tahari is my thing, but these were so over the top and I still love them. They were so huge and I love that the lampshade wasn't just like tan, it actually had a color to it and there were matching ones. So I, I really like those. I would buy them for my own house. I wanted to also show you these wall tapestries because again, I'm not really modern boho, but if I were gonna put a tapestry in my house, I would choose some of these and these are way more affordable than anthropology. These are like 50, 70 bucks anthropology, it's hundreds of dollars. I'm like, for what? I saw these beautiful like vessels today and I thought of I am Sharika B. Last week she gave me a shout out in one of her videos and I was so grateful. And she actually found some vessels just like this last week that look a thousand times better from Amazon. And I just wanna say that our channels are literally identical. We buy literally all of the same thing. So if you like my content, you definitely go need to go check hers out. Her channel is I am Sharika B. These bowls were also available and they go for upwards of $200 online and they were $20 and $13. They also had tons of these chalkboards. You could very easily put down some canvas or something and turn this into a painting or put some mirror in there to get a really nice uh, modern vibe. 
I really love the height of this piece because again, things often come on stands, but this was standalone, but unfortunately I could not find a price tag on it. Also these candles, you know, I really like the really expensive candles. I, I'm bougie in that way, but these candles, I could smell them through the box, through my mask. And like that is significant. It smells so good. I'm in love with this piece of coral. They actually started selling coral at Restoration Hardware and you can use coral even if your vibe isn't like beachy, but this is a huge piece and it's only $50. These are also all over the RH website now. And this is $40 and they have them in a variety of colors at all home goods right now. And then I also, of course, love this Tahari lamp and had to show it to you. I liked the ring and there were two of them with a nice marble base. So the first piece that I wanna start with is this one. They don't have anything like this at RH, so this is not necessarily an RH dupe. This is just something that I personally enjoyed. I really love history, especially Egyptian history. So this is just kind of like an ode to my interests. And this was only $30 at Home Goods, and it's a really huge gold sculpture. And I just, I really love it. I actually have several of these in my home that I got from antique stores. And obviously this one was the most affordable and also the largest. So I'm probably gonna put this in the media console in my bedroom because I want gold to be my accent color in there and right now my colors are kind of mixed. Um, so this is going to be a really great addition to the space. So this is my second piece. They have a lot of sculptures like this at RH um, and they're pricey as one would expect. Um, but this one actually was only $8. It was on clearance at Home Goods today. It's gray with some brown um, detailing in it. And I think it's just like a really nice object to sit on a shelf and style with it, especially on top of some books because it's not too tall so that you don't have to worry about the height of your shelves. Um, but it still is a statement piece. This is probably my favorite find of this week's Home Goods Shop With Me because I found this amazing bust. Look at how big it is. Um, it's super big. They actually had a smaller one that was about this big. Um, we couldn't find a price on that one. I really wanted to tell you the price, but this one ended up only being $30. A bust this size, you know, goes for a really high price at some higher end stores. So I was really happy about this and it's gray. And I actually like that it's gray. Sometimes I like to go for white, which is what the statue is in my bedroom. But this is gonna look really nice. I have another bust that I got from an antique store and that one was like $60 and it's half the size of this one. So I'm really happy about this. This is my next find. This set was $24.99 and it's just some gold bases. You can style them together or separate them um, and they're nice and sleek and you know they're not even really gold they're like a brassy color which is really nice because gold can be way too shocking sometimes. So I thought that this was a really great find. They actually give you a picture of how to style it but yeah $25 for this I thought was really good. They're not that tall. I think they're a good size. You definitely couldn't put them in something huge so they might end up going back to the store for me because they might look too small in my space but I really like them. Okay guys, I found the most amazing picture light. I know you've seen this at the higher end stores, your Crate and Barrels, your Restoration Hardwares, and this was only $22. And the original price was only $29, which I think is insane. It is like a black brown color, not the Ikea black brown, but a black brown color. Um, and I just think it's really sleek and cute. It's not like modern, but it is like something you'd find at one of those stores, but I also found a modern lamp that I'm going to show you next. So this is the modern lamp that I found at um, Home Goods, and they actually had two of them, which was a really nice find. There was a pair, and if I didn't love the ones that I got from Ikea so much for a bedroom, I probably would have put these in there because it's literally just two poles. The light on it is actually really great. I plugged it in in the store and I really liked it. 
It has that built-in USB port, which is really important because having cords in your room when you're really going for a nice modern look really disrupts the space. Um, so this is a really great option because you could just tuck it behind, hopefully your concrete table that you made. Um, and in terms of price, it was only $40. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's Home Goods Shop With Me and Haul. It was so fun filming for you guys because of course I got to go to my favorite store. If you guys like this type of content, please like it and let me know down in the comments. Also, please remember to subscribe to my channel, DIY with KB, and to follow me on Instagram at kiva.rent. I definitely don't put all my content up here on YouTube because some of my products are smaller. So if you wanna see what I do on the day today in terms of my decor, dupes, and DIY, follow me. Thanks so much for watching and have a great week.